The image's actions are the most versatile that Scenario Builder has to offer. With these powerful actions, your scenario can find icons and click on them to open applications, find fields and click into them to enter data, open menus, close windows, and more. This video is for viewers with a basic understanding of Scenario Builder. If you find that any terms or procedures are unclear, please review the earlier videos in this series. In this first example, using the click on image action will capture an image. It's important to note that until we press control, the image capture is not fully enabled. This allows us to do things like reveal this drop-down menu. Once control is pressed, the screen freezes and we can capture the image we need. In this next example, we'll add a second image to an existing click on image action. Clicking the plus sign in the image's property adds a find image number 2 field. By hovering over the icon, then pressing control, we can capture a version of the shortcut with mouse focus. This ensures that our action will succeed in finding the icon whichever way it's rendering. Let's take a moment to talk about some of the properties associated with the click on image action. Timeout sets the maximum amount of seconds allowed for an image to appear. If the image does not appear before the timeout period elapses, the step finishes with a failed status. Enabling continue on failure permits the scenario to advance in the event of the step failing. Why would you want to continue on failure? Well, here's an example. This scenario pages down through a website looking for an image. Each time the image is not found, because continue on failure is enabled, the scenario continues and eventually does find the image. The Tolerance property determines the percentage variation allowed for a successful image search. The default value of zero looks for an exact match of the bitmap. A zero tolerance is the recommended setting as increasing tolerance can lead to false positives. Now let's open a test pattern graphic to illustrate how the click on image action allows you to click virtually anywhere on the screen. First, with the click on image action, we'll capture just the center square section of this test pattern. Now, using the anchor position X and Y properties, we'll locate the mouse click in the upper left corner of our image. The Anchor Position properties give you nine location options for the mouse click. But suppose we need to mouse click somewhere other than these nine locations. That's where the Mouse Move action comes into play. The Mouse Move action locates the mouse click anywhere on the screen. Using the test pattern to demonstrate, I'll set the Mouse Move property by clicking on the Mouse Coordinates tool. Once enabled, we simply click wherever on the screen we want the mouse click to occur. Let's play it back. You can see that our mouse clicks right where we intended. Let's quickly look at the Use Anchor property. When enabled, the mouse move location stays anchored to the image. In other words, if the image moves, so does the mouse move location. I'll demonstrate. We'll reset the mouse move coordinates to an area of our desktop away from the test pattern graphic over here on the G of our logo. Before we play it back, we'll slide the test pattern graphic to the left. Okay, now watch what happens to our mouse click. Sliding the test pattern graphic to the left slides the mouse move click proportionately to the left. Now let's watch what happens when we disable Use Anchor. Notice our mouse click returns to the G of our logo.
Getting back to the click on image properties. Next, I want to talk about the black and white contrast ratio, which tells Scenario Builder to search for the specified image in black and white. Say we're using click on image to click in the Google search box, but we notice the search box renders in different colors depending on where the cursor is on the screen. Well, this is an example of where searching for the image in black and white would eliminate the problem. First, we'll capture the image as we normally would. Now, to help us decide on a black and white contrast ratio, Scenario Builder provides a display tool to view the image as we apply varying degrees of contrast. We'll use the tool to open our image file. As we increase the percentage of black in the image, notice how more and more of the image renders. Once we arrive at an appropriate contrast setting, we'll enter it into the property field. Before we play back the scenario, let's add a step. Using the Type Text action, we'll have our scenario enter Found Black and White Image into the search box. If we right-click and choose Move Right, we can make it a child of the Click on Image action we just created. Child actions only execute after their parent action has successfully executed, so our text will only be entered if the black and white search is successful. Let's watch. So, as you can see, searching for the image in black and white resulted in a success. The sleep time property establishes the length of the pause between attempts to find an image. This value is in milliseconds, so a setting of 500 equals one half second. The image search area can be useful when an image appears in more than one place on the desktop. It allows you to specify a region of the screen to search and exclude the duplicate images. Find Image has all of the same features as Click on Image, but without the mouse click actions attached. It can be used in cases where an image needs to be found to verify that a page or form has loaded. The Find Image action with the Wait for Image to Disappear property enabled actually works as a Don't Find Image action. The step only succeeds if the specified image is not found. Again, this can be useful in verifying that a page has loaded as expected. Well, that concludes our look at Scenario Builder's Images Actions. See you next time.